I'm Phil and this is UNE Discovery Voyager Online. Now the other day someone told me that you could use something to measure the speed of light. And the thing they showed me was a block of chocolate. Now I was really curious about how we could possibly measure the speed of light with a block of chocolate. Well, we're not going to quite do it with light. We're actually going to be using the microwaves in our microwave oven because the microwaves move the same as the speed of light because they're all electromagnetic waves. And the way we're going to be doing this is we're going to pop our chocolate in the microwave and it's going to melt certain parts about half a wavelength apart. Now just to explain what half a wavelength is, We've got here our slinky and what we have here is that we can see peaks from there so that's half a wavelength which you can see they're doing in opposite directions at the time and what we have in the microwave is that's what will be the half lengths. Now we need to set up our microwave first because what it does inside the microwave is the turntable. And that spins our thing around, and that's not going to help us. So we want to make sure that we're not spinning our chocolate. So you need to take out your dish and that. And what you can do then is take a plate and place it over the revolving part there. And take your chocolate out of its packets. And I suggest you pop it face down so that we've got the flat smooth surface and place it so that it's on the plate and in that direction because the microwaves go across this way and by not spinning it we're going to be able to keep it steady. I suggest we have about 15 seconds and see what happens so let's go. hear it and it's not spinning and then we should be able to find some little spots here and there where it is starting to melt so let's have a look and oh do you think there is maybe we'll put a few more I think I can start to see now the lines there so I might just do another five seconds just to emphasize it a bit more and see what we can see. So what we have here is the melting point there and the melting point there and if we measure from the center of one to the other we can see it's about six centimeters. So six centimeters that gives us half a wavelength so a whole wavelength would be 12 centimetres. That is about 0.12 centimetres. So we now have got the wavelength, but to find the velocity, we need to know the frequency as well. So to find the frequency of the microwaves, you need to look at the back of your microwave, and this one has a frequency of 2,450 megahertz. Mega meaning million, so 10 to the 6. So, to work out the speed, we need to multiply 2450 by 10 to the 6 by 0.12 meters. And if we do that, we end up with a number of 294 million meters per second as the speed that we've calculated. Hopefully you have got something very similar as well and that the melting works well and enjoy the chocolate afterwards. Bye.